Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Apio Magida, the founder of Back to School. Um, Back to School is an initiative that educates young artists about the business side of art, about building your brand as an artist, and about educating yourself about the art that you are doing. So in Back to School, we deal with a variety of art. We do not, uh, we are not restricted in one particular art form. We are doing every art, every type of art. Um, but today we'll be focusing mainly on poetry since we are, are looking forward to publishing a book by next year, an anthology about Gapstad, the life of, uh, of Cape Town people through poetry. So we will be portraying the life of Cape Town people through poetry. So today we are joined by our participant, which is the first one is Genevieve. Uh, Zongolo, did I announce your surname right? Genevieve Zongolo. Yes, okay. that's correct. Okay, uh, and Emi Chetayeni, um, Pigelela Sposetu, uh, Vusumuzi Mukwena, and Obuche Siho. All of those are poets, and some of them are published poets, so they know the, 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 the uh, what is required to become a published poet. So uh, they will be coming with their experiences and their information uh, that they can contribute towards this workshop. So today on this workshop, we'll be dealing with um, uh, the, 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 the concept of backbone. We understand backbone in science as the foundation of our body. A uh, backbone is, uh, is the pipeline that sends nerve impulses to the brain so that it can be interpreted and so that we as humans can uh, respond towards pain. So what is the backbone in life? The backbone in life is the history because in order for us to understand the present, we have to acknowledge the history. What is uh, what we see now and what is happening today is because uh, it, it is birthed by our history. The reason why we have uh, 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 informal segment, it's because the history uh, 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 um, developed those informal segment. And that's why now we are fighting land expropriation. We are fighting all kinds of, uh, uh, of struggles in our daily lives. So we'll be uh, uh, exploring on that theme backbone uh, through poetry, of course. So we, uh, the, the, the participants will be required to revisit their personal histories uh, in relation to the, to the history that we all have, which is uh, the common history of apartheid, uh, the common history of colonization, and the common history of, um, there's a lot of common history that, that is involved. So we'll be exploring that and we'll also explore uh, the, the, the literature in poetry because we cannot just write, we have to go back to the literature of poetry and give respect to drama and give respect to the, to the rules of poetry. And uh, we won't uh, uh, explore all of, the, all, all of the poetry styles because there are many, there's like a, a lot of poetry styles, uh, but we'll be mainly focusing on sonnets. A sonnet is a 16 line poem. I will be doing that too. Um, I will give one of my poets uh, a chance to introduce herself and we'll take it from there. Uh, Genevieve, please introduce yourself. All right, hello everyone. My name is Genevieve Zongolo. I am a poet. Uh, I write and I perform poetry. Poetry to me is life. It is inspired by life. Um, I've never attempted to write any fictional or fantasy poetry. It's always based on, on life and my experiences. And my experiences are not detached from others understand so um that is my line of work i basically so far i've written or i write more on social injustices whether that be religious whether that be cultural um uh yeah th those are my line 
of work or those are the kinds of work that I've um, produced so far in my life. Okay, thank you, Genevieve. Uh, I won't give every participant a chance to introduce themselves. I hope that won't be a problem with the viewers though. Okay, um, I have introduced the, 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 the Back to School initiative, which is a foundation that educates young artists about the, the, the business side of art. So now we will just go to what we are here for, which is poetry writing and the backbone theme and all that I have introduced before. Um, so today we will be looking at the backbone theme. We will write a sonnet, a 16 line sonnet. But before we write the sonnet, we have to write a free hand written poem. So in this free hand written poem, you are required to write without thinking, without trying to, 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 to fix anything, without editing anything. You just write for five minutes. You are writing a free, uh, free hand written poem. And then from that free hand written poem, you will be extracting lines that will uh, build up this sonnet, this 16 liner poem. Okay, we will take five minutes to write that. And the time will start about now.
We are done. Five minutes is over. We are done. Um, so from the free handwritten poem, we will be extracting lines that we like, lines that we think they are poetic. Um, yeah, and that will take about two minutes. Or if you're done before the, the time is over, then it's good. Okay, time, time up. Okay. Now the question is, what does the history or what does history mean to you personally? Before we go to writing um, sonnet. All right. Um, I, I, I find that it's, it's, it's an easy, but it's also a difficult question. Um, what makes it difficult is because I do not know the whole of my history, okay? So I will speak on what I know. Um, you know, for me, there is a, a closer saying, I'm not sure if it's a proverb, um, that says that, um, I was, I will, I will not was, you cannot know where you are going if you do not know where you are coming from. Therefore, in order for you to know where you are going, you must know where you are coming from. And um, in I think life generally for me, um, it's difficult to move forward, not having had time to unearth the things that got me to be where I am right now. Understand, life doesn't make sense um, without knowing where I come from or with, without knowing my background. I, there is no life basically without a backbone. You understand? Um, being without a backbone, it's like it's like being a puppet, you understand? Um, or being uh you understand? You understand? So for me, that's what history is. For me, that's what a backbone is. It's something that keeps you together, it's something that keeps you standing. Um, yeah. Thank you, Genevieve. Um, what I've taken out of um, what you just said, history is something that keeps you together. It makes meaning of, uh, of the life that you are currently living. And it predicts what you are, you are about to encounter in the future. Um, so now we'll be looking at the literature side of poetry. 
yeah, uh, the literature side of poetry might sound boring, but it is important because it, uh, it is the basics of poetry. So in order for us to, 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 to call ourselves writers, we have to uh, obey by the rules. Uh, so what we will be doing now, from the lines we have extracted, we will uh, write a sonnet, a 16-liner poem. So the sonnet must contain five senses of poetry. Um, and the five senses of poetry, I have to look at my notes so that I, I, I don't get anything wrong. The five senses of poetry are taste, a touch, a sight, a smell, a hear. So in your poem, we have to hear the sounds we have to smell uh, uh, what is being said, and we have to taste it, and we have to touch it. So you, in your description, um, in your poetic description, you have to, 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 to include these five as aspects and these five senses. We have to sense everything. If you are talking about what had, what had happened yesterday, you have, we, we, we have to taste, what you ate there, we have to, to, to see what you saw, we have to touch the things that you have touched, you see. Uh, and secondly, in your sonnet, you have to have rhymes, quatrains, couplets, and contrast. Therefore, <laughs> I see your face. Therefore, it's rhymes, it's quatrains, it's couplet, it's contrast. So rhyming, it's, it, rhyming is, is, is easy because we, we see rhyming or we hear rhyming uh, in hip hop being used like more than anything, like hip hop stars or hip hop rappers always use rhyming or, or, or rhymes. Uh, so um, in my description, rhyme is a correspondence of word sound. So the sound of the words must correspond. They must sound the same. It mustn't be like necessarily the same words, but the words must sound the same. The sound must be the same. And then Caltrain are stanzas of four lines. So we know that sonnet has 16 lines. Uh, in this sonnet, if you want to make a stanza, it's up to you. If you want to make a stanza, you must, uh, the, 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 the sonnet must have like four lines before you skip a line. Because in, uh, when you're writing a poem, we do not have paragraphs like essays. We have stanzas, you see. So our stanzas must only contain four lines before you skip to another to the to the following stanza. And then uh, the couplet, the couplet is a pair of successive lines of verse. Let me repeat that: a couplet is a pair of successive lines of verse. So an example will be like um, it's more like you are finishing what you have started before. Like, okay, I saw Genevieve going to the shop. Genevieve was buying bananas at the shop. So you're finishing what you have written above. So those are couplets. And it gives your, 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 your poetry a storyline. It gives your poetry uh, uh, um, a route that a reader or a listener can uh, uh, follow, you see. Uh, and then contrast, your words must be contradicting. As much as you are building a storyline here, and we are talking about the history, and obviously the history needs storytelling more than anything, but your words must be contradicting, which means you are, you are contributing to the, to, to, to the literature world. Once your words are contradicting, it means that you are being creative, but in your contradiction, we must, we must see the meaning still. As much as your words are contradicting, but we must see the meaning, you see. Uh, I think that's about it. You, in your sonnet, rhymes, quatrains, couplet, contrast. We must see, we must taste, we must touch, we must smell, we must do what again? We must hear, <laughs> yeah, which is the fifth sense. Um, five minutes, five minutes.
Okay, the time is up now. Okay, so the following question is, um, use a color to describe how you feel. Okay, so my color, I'll use robot colors. Né? I am orange. Oh, I feel orange. About the workshop, what did you learn and what uh, are you taking from it? Um, I think it's important <laughs> for me to revisit poetry rules. <laughs> um, I've been so used to freestyle writing that that has kind of, that, that, that has been my work. I've been freestyle writing, like I've, the, the last time that I read about poetry rules was in high school and that's plus minus 10 years ago. Um, so that's what I'm taking away. It really was difficult to write with all of those things in mind. Um, and yeah, it just, there, there, was, there was no freedom <laughs> like I usually have when I write. So I felt a bit restricted because I had things to think about. Um, not that it's, it's unimportant, it's important to have those things in mind. Um, it also gives one, um, I think for me, what I have to do, like going from here is I really have to go back and read poetry. I really have to go back and um, pay attention to poetry rules. Um, yeah, I was I was just taken back to high school right now. Hey, um, in conclusion. Uh, you will need to read us your poem. I, I won't have to read mine because of time and all that, which means I'm safe and you not. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so please share with us. It is not fair. <laughs> that is not fair. Like life is what I fair. wrote here. <laughs> like what I wrote here is ridiculous. It's just a few lines. Um. Yeah, you see, someone is saying it's not fair. It's not fair. Okay, for the sake of fairness, I will I will have to read mine too. Um, do you want me to start, Genevieve? Okay. Okay. Um, it's untitled. I have lived a life. I have lived a long life. Scars bleeding. Poetry gave light to birth. Escaped the darkness, for it was death. We have never seen life beyond these sky skies. We will never speak water from a life that produces drought. Dragging my feet to the moving drums. Drum beating my heart to the soil, soil producing nothing that said, nothing but said hymns. Rhyme nothing but color, color we seek things that cannot see. Okay, that was my poem. It is untitled. Hope you enjoyed it, yo. I am fair to like, okay. I did not even make it to the don don lines. <laughs> okay, but I'll just write what I, I'll just read what I wrote. Um, it really has been difficult to do this uh, practice, but anyway, I'll read what I wrote. Life hangs on a thread of shame filled dreams. Breathing is but a luxury we all 
can afford. Hoard all those emotions of rage. Back bones are mere inventions to keep bodies from falling and necks from breaking. That's far. That's how far I got. Yeah, but I hope everyone who's uh, who has participated has take taken notes, uh, and that we are not going to stop now. We are still going to workshop on the poems until the day we publish this anthology for Back to School. Um, so to reintroduce Back to School, Back to School is an initiative that educates young artists about the business side of art, about building your brand as an artist and about going to school and study for your arts. Uh, so we do our workshops monthly on the first Saturday of the month. Uh, Back to School was founded by Apiwe Magida, who is the host today uh, of this workshop. Um, on, the Feb or on February last year, the 2nd of February, 2019, and it has been running for a year now. Um, we had only one workshop this year, and this is our second work second workshop. Because of lockdown, things were not looking up. So we are looking forward to publishing an, an anthology if uh, everything is on our side by next year, because we have spoken to the peoples and we things are looking up. Um, yeah, and today we were exploring on the concept of backbone which is a very important uh, bone in, in, in our body bones. Uh, so backbone in this, in, in today's theme, it is the foundation of the body. It's, uh, it, it sends nerve impulses to the brain so that it can be interpreted. The nerve impulses can be interpreted and so that we can react towards pain. And so our backbone as humans in life is our history because our history informs us about the present because everything that we see in the present is the result of the past and our history predicts what might happen in the future so if we do not learn from our past we might encounter the same problems what we we, we had encountered in the past in the future that we are we we we, we are going to meet so Today we were looking uh, at, at, at that concept, which is the backbone of life, and we are, we were writing poetry or poems based on that theme, and we wrote a sixteen-liner poem, which is a sonnet, uh, and included the rules of poetry, uh, which is uh, the, the the five senses of poetry and drama in, in general. Yeah, and I thank everyone the viewers, the participant, hear my voice. Like, I, I really think that the, 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 the platform that you guys gave us to like to, to stream the, the, the workshop of Back to School live for everyone to see. So yeah, thank you.